just do it. <laughs> I'm going to show you how to finally print stuff with a 3D printer and then act like Thanos. Welcome back everybody to eTree3D where we make mistakes so you don't have to. Gotcha. I'm Sierra. And I'm Mike for those of you that don't know that because I don't introduce myself sometimes. Before we get into this video, I need you to go to our homepage on YouTube and do what? Like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification, share if you'd like to, and go to our Patreon. And if you want to, if you can, support us. And if We're not, that's okay. That's okay. It's your life. Live it. It's your money. It's not mine. Do what you want. You do you. Here it is. Finally, we've done it. I got the printer, set it up, went to iFast on the Cheaty print, and I said, you know what? I'm doing it. Print. Nozzle number one, PLA. Nozzle number two, dissolving filament. PVA. PV. Which stands for? Possible. <laughs> She has no clue. It stands for. I'm gonna put the definition right there on the screen you now. Screw you, got you. You don't know it either. <laughs> I don't know it either. Um, but we finally did it. We put it in there. Um, I printed off a little test cube on the X Max just to see if my all metal would run it through. It turned out like crap. I don't care. I wasn't trying to get a perfect calibration cube. I just wanted to see if the stuff would print. Yeah. So we printed it, worked, threw it on the iFast, and. This is what we got. magic <laughs> so these right here are what polygrams i didn't pass geometry i gotta see in it it's d20s for the UD D kids and for all of you non-nerds in the back of the room it's a isocahedron 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 i think you said yeah. that wrong but it's okay isocahedron and if you, if I'm not saying it right, then blame Google because that's where I got it from. Or but, just say it's a D20. There you go, D20. But we got something hidden in here. And we're gonna show you how to get it out because I took all the supports, set all the uh, distances to zero, 
these supports are not coming off of here with my fingers. Nope. So we're gonna run a little test for you here. Hot, cold, or room temperature. We're gonna see which one dissolves first. All right, so now we have water. So what makes the difference between an experiment and just having fun? Uh, well, you have a control. Okay. So that's room temperature. Mm -hmm. And then you have a hot and a cold. Okay. But it's now not an experiment because we're not doing it multiple times. Right. However, I've got data. So, oh, I almost dropped that in the water. <laughs> that would have been bad. I just got this. Okay, so we're going to run temperatures here. Ah, no. Water. I can tell you how hot I am, but just ask the wife. <laughs> Sorry, I moved the water. All right, so hot water is running at 130.2. Control is 80.2 and... 46.3. 46.3. Oh, by the way, these are all Fahrenheit. Um, those all translate to whatever you translate them to in Celsius. Celsius. All right, so I'm going to start a stopwatch, and we're going to drop these things in. So, uh, activate stopwatch. We are going to... Three, two, one, go.
have been doing a lot of scrubbing on these, but you can see our isocohedron. Or D20s. Or D20s are done with a hidden ball inside. So that's where we're at. Um, cold water, it got moved super fast into the process because it did nothing, didn't soften or anything like that. So we stuck with the hot and the room temperature. Yep. What was your feelings as you were peeling it off? What'd you feel? Um, it wasn't really sticky. Well, it was sticky, but not like really, really sticky. And it's adhesive to the D20 is. Okay. So really I there. took all the uh, pieces away. Oh, I'm grinding the crap out of this using that little thing. Oh well. Um, so mine, I like I said, I removed all the uh, distance between. So it was literally PVA, PLA right on top of it. We, it is really stuck to this really well. So it hasn't dissolved completely. But we've also been messing around with it and everything else. So overall. Scrubbing went fast for me. Scrubbing went fast for you. So yeah. mine was a little bit more stickier with the hot water. So I'm guessing right above room temperature um, is about where you need to be uh, for water wise. And then the one we had to pull from the cold. And put it in the warm. As you can see, it's, I don't know if you can see, but if you can. So that's about what, 10 minutes in the cold water and then the rest in the hot. Yep. It's uh, dissolving itself completely, as you can tell. So we're gonna keep this one in there. We'll see how long it takes. Maybe I'll update you. Um, maybe the video will be completely edited before this thing finishes. I don't know. However, PVA with PLA silk, some off-brand PLA, and our filament one glint PLA. Uh, it's coming right off of them, stuck in a li little bit, dissolved great. Um, definitely doing this one again. Yes. So. Definitely awesome. Mess with this. Like I said, don't forget to, or like she said, don't forget to share, like, subscribe, comment below. Let us know what you think. If you've got an idea of what we can use the PVA for, let us know because uh, we're definitely going to try some new things. So comment down below. Let us know. Head on over to the Patreon. Support us over there. And have a wonderful day. Cheers.